don't know what we got. 14 Creed Aventus clones. <laughs> well, I guess 13 and then actually Creed Aventus. So I've done videos like this in the past. This is going to be the most updated, most inclusive video. I am not doing, you know, well, I got one in here, but I'm not doing stuff that's like hybrids and stuff. I'm also not doing the less traditional clone houses right now, at least. I'm not going to be doing Essential Obsessions, Making Sense, King Fragrances, Dua, Alexandria, anything like that. This is the mass marketed clone house comparison. These are the ones that you're going to be able to find that are really kind of distributed all over the world. You can find on discounter sites, that kind of thing. So mainly Middle Eastern fragrance houses, um, but not all of them. And after Creative Ventus came out, there's been this just explosion of clones. Everybody's been cloning it. Hype went through the roof. And there's just tons of them. And so I'm hoping through this video to kind of help narrow down, you know, that selection process if you're looking for a good alternative to Creative Ventus. All of these are fairly cheap. Again, there are a few in here that aren't really directly Creative Ventus clones. They are either inspired by Creative Ventus or they are sort of hybrids. But I tried to keep that to a minimum. They're just, I knew they were going to be asked about because they were super hyped up. At least one of them is super hyped up. So anyway, let's get into it. The two most popular are these, probably <laughs> the Club du Nuit Intense Man by Armoff. This is the Eau de Parfum. It's the big 200 ml bottle. And this is the EDT. So I'm sure you've all probably seen videos on these. If you haven't and you're new to fragrances, this often the EDT is the most popular. It's sold a ton, it still sells a ton. It's around 20 bucks online, 25 bucks, somewhere around that for a 3.4 ounce bottle or 3.3 ounce. The main issue with this is there is a very harsh lemony opening. So instead of getting that beautiful pineapple that you get from Creative Ventus, that bergamot combination, you're getting what comes off as like a lemon, uh, almost lemon cleaner vibe, a lot of people say. They say a little pledge. So I get that. The opening is certainly harsh. It does smell chemically. The beautiful thing about this is the dry down. The dry down not only has a very nice seductive vanilla note that comes out, it also has a smokiness about it. So you still get that brightness from you know, the Aventus DNA in the dry down, but you get this wonderful vanilla that mixes with the smoke. So the Eau de Parfum takes that harshness in the opening and really gets rid of it. it. It's still there, but it is very more, like much more minimal and it's less harsh. This I think runs for about 45, um, but for a 200 ml bottle or maybe 50. So it's, it's about the same price. You just get the bigger bottle. Again, the opening is much smoother. It's been a while since I've smelled these, so I'm going to go ahead and spray them just so I can also do the dry downs for you all. Performance on both of these is amazing. EDT will last you through the day, no problem. Eight hours easy. EDP is no different. So yeah, the opening, you get this very synthetic lemon smell. Again, something that you would kind of get in a cleaner <laughs> uh, lemon pledge or something like that. It's less prominent in the EDP. Both of these are very sweet, which is, I think, why they're sweet and they're loud. They, they put off a lot of nice scent bubble. The sillage is very good. It's why I think they, they get complimented so much is why a lot of people wear it. Because there is that sweetness and they're loud. They project. People are going to pick it up. So of these two, the EDP, in my opinion, is better all around. It's more well-rounded. It's the same price. Essentially, you're getting twice as much for twice as much. <laughs> so you might as well go with the EDP. I have not tried the limited edition. I've heard it's even better. I've heard the parfum's not as loud. But anyway, the EDP is my choice, hands down, out of those two. This, is, I almost got as a, just a joke. It was super cheap. And I was, you know, getting fragrances. And I figured, why not? <laughs> it is by Alhambra, which is, I believe, a house under the umbrella that is Fragrance World. This is official Club Intense. So this is a clone of Club Du Nuit Intense, which is hilarious because it's a clone of a clone of Aventus. So this doesn't have as much of a lemon opening. It still smells synthetic. It doesn't really smell pineapple-y, but it's not as lemony. Now this performance sucks on this. Performance is terrible on this. You might get four hours out of it. This is not worth getting. In short, I'm not gonna waste your time in the review. It's very similar otherwise to Club Du Nuit Intense, man. It's not as harsh in the opening, but performance is terrible. You're way better off getting EDP. It's just also just not as loud.
This one was hyped for a long time uh, by ser several reviewers. It is, I think, also about Humbra. The thing fell off. It had one of those little decals on there. It's called like Mook Akbar. I'm, I know I'm butchering the name, but this was known for having a smoky Aventus kind of DNA, and it does. It's a barbecue smoke, though. This is not this smooth, that almost like incense -y smoke that you get from Club Duna Intense Man. This is like a charcoal barbecue smell. So anybody who smelled Dua's, um, a lot of the Dua clones, you know, their Aventus ones that are supposed to be smokier, they have that barbecue in them too. That's what's in here. I'm not big on it. I'm not huge on that barbecue smell. But if you are, it's a good pickup. This does not have a lemony open. It does have that bergamot pineapple opening. It smells pretty good. But again, you got to like that charcoal. Now, my issue with this is performance was said to be really good on this. I don't know you know who gets good performance on this i certainly don't you can get this for like 23 bucks though super cheap but i only get a couple hours out of this okay and again i'm not a big fan of that barbecue smell so to me that's not worth getting this is a was also hyped it's called infini by kajal this is this is uh inspired by i'd say it is not a direct clone of ventus it's got that pineapple kind of opening. It's much brighter. It's much sweeter, almost candy-like. It's like a candied pineapple smell with this really kind of almost clean musk that runs throughout. It doesn't have that birch, that woodiness that you really get out of Aventus. Also, I don't get a whole lot of that vanilla. It's more of a sweet candy pineapple. It's a good fragrance. It's a good fragrance. It certainly comes off more juvenile, more youthful, almost more bubblegummy. So this is certainly not a replacement for Aventus. It is not even really in the same realm as Aventus, but you can certainly tell that is where, you know, this came from, why it was inspired by. It just does its own thing. And along those same lines is this one, which is by Ajmal. This is Wonder. Again, this is not a clone of Aventus, but it's clearly inspired by Aventus. You can get this on Amazon for around 20 bucks. Same thing. This is closer to Aventus than um, the Affini. But it, it just kind of misses the mark. It's, it's a lighter, more subtle version of Aventus. You do get the oak moss. You do get the woods in this, the birch. The pineapple's not as bright. You don't really get a whole lot of vanilla. But again, it's a good alternative to Aventus. It's certainly not bad for the money. Again, 20-something bucks. You get about five hours performance on this. Not too bad. This is, for the long time, was one of my favorite Aventus clones. Still is. It is Afnon Supremacy Silver. So this was my first clone of Aventus after Club Duna Intense Man. Atomizer's Trash. And I still think it's one of the best. The pineapple in here is really juicy. It smells really good. The bottle looks really awesome too. You get the birch. You get a lot of birch in this. You get a lot of the birch in the woods and the dry down. The oak moss is there. It's not overpowering though, but you do get some of that birch, the pineapple, there is a sweetness from the vanilla. This is really good smelling. It is a pretty good alternative to Aventus. Um, I'd, I'd say, honestly, it's, it's definitely up there as being one of my favorites. You can get it for under 30 bucks for a 100 ml bottle. Good, I get good performance out of this too, probably seven, eight hours out of it. I know some people say they don't, I do. I had no problem with performance on this one. Now this is a, by the same house, it's off non-supremacy silver, not only tents. And this is one I wanted to do just because I knew it was gonna be asked about. It is not a Aventus clone, okay? It is a twist on Aventus. It's more of a Hashavat clone. It's got a very amped up note. You get that nice juicy pineapple. You get a sweetness that comes off like saffrony sweetness, something like Baccarat Rouge 540, but there is a very heavy dose, very heavy dose of oak moss, which is why this is more along the lines of something like Nishani's Hashavat. Again, you get that sweetness, you get that pineapple. To me, it almost comes across almost like a hybrid of Hashavat with Baccarat Rouge 540 or Anishio Oud for Greatness because of that saffron. It is a great smelling fragrance. It's loud. It's going to get you noticed. It's going to last you all day, 10 hours. It's going to project very loud. The oak moss, it kind of helps balance it out because you get that heavy dose of oak moss, but you also have that sweetness and you have that pineapple. So it, it prevents it from becoming too cloyingly sweet, but also prevents it from becoming too dark, too, you know, almost too masculine. 
This is a really good fragrance that's going to get you noticed. But again, this is not a clone of Aventus. It's inspired by, it's in the same kind of category, but it is not a clone for Aventus. So if you're looking for a straight Aventus clone, this isn't the one to get, but it is really good. Now this is pricier. This is around 60 bucks. Okay. So this is the most expensive of these on the list. This next one's called Rye Rayon Tradition. It's Insurrection 2. And they have um, a cologne version. It's Creed Aventus cologne. That one's really good. It smells like Aventus. It smells a lot cheaper. It smells a lot this less loud. Performance on this isn't great. You get some of that pineapple. It's more bergamot -y. Again, you get some of the woods, you get the vanilla, you get all the notes in Aventus. It just smells more synthetic and it's not as loud. Performance on this is terrible. I get maybe two, three hours. It's good gym fragrance, running out fragrance, something like that. Again, I think this is under 20 bucks. Not a bad pickup. But again, it's not going to last you long. This certainly is not. Wouldn't be my go-to. Now, the next is <laughs> actual Creed Aventus. This is a newer batch. As you can see, it's, it's almost uh, run through. Nice atomizer, obviously. And so with this one, this specific batch, it's got almost a tart pineapple. It's not that sweet pineapple. It's more of a tarty one in this one. To be honest with you, I don't know the batch. I had to look it up. I forget, but it is a newer batch. And to be honest with you, I'm not huge on this. I'm really not. I think some of the clones are better than this new batch. The pineapple's again kind of tarty. It's just, it's not really my thing. This next one's been hyped a lot, and this is by Mont Blanc. This was their essentially take on Aventus. People say it's not an Aventus clone. It absolutely is. Now, it does do its own thing. It has more leather, and it, it, in the dry down, you get more of that kind of um, leather from it. It's certainly not the same as Aventus, but it's obviously inspired by Aventus. This is Mont Blanc's way of essentially getting back, a lot of people think, on Creed with their original Santal, essentially copying Mont Blanc Individuel, which came out prior. But this is very similar. It is, it's the same kind of notes, just the leather's more prominent in this. As it dries down, you still get that pineapple, but it really just becomes more leather dominant. It's good fragrance. I used to get trash performance on this, my original batch of this. I was lucky if I got two hours. This gives me about five or six though. It's not too bad. You pick this up for about 33 bucks on discounter sites for a 100 ml bottle. Not bad at all, it smells high quality. Certainly a good alternative. Again, it does kind of do its own thing, but it's, it's certainly a really good pickup. And I'd say of the alternatives, it's probably the best that aren't exactly in line with Creed Aventus DNA. Unless, of course, you're wanting to go with something like Supremacy, uh, not only Intense. This is hyped by a lot of people as being the best. This is by Al Harmain. It's La Adventure. This one's almost run through, as you can tell. Like Supremacy Silver, I've gone through an entire bottle of both of those. These are both my second bottle. Now, a lot of people, including Curly Sense, say this is the best. I disagree. This is very birchy, very birchy. I don't, again, in the pineappleness to me comes off lemony. And I, I don't think it's just the batches I got. It smells good, but it smells more similar to Club Du Nuit Intense Man without that sweetness, without that vanilla, without that nice smokiness. It's just more birchy and, again, less vanilla. Now, in the dry down, it comes down more. It's not a bad, not a bad clone, don't get me wrong, but it's not the best, in my opinion. You get it for about 33 bucks. Now, there is an intense version that just came out. I haven't tried it. Um, you know, I don't really plan on trying it. I will eventually, I guess, but this one is the cheapest. It's called Victor Number no. 9. It sprays like a body mist. About 10 bucks. I will say this smells dang good for the money. Problem is it doesn't last more than 30 minutes. Again, a good gym fragrance. You want to spray it on. It sprays like a gym fragrance too. Run in. You do get a juicy pineapple. It smells very similar to Aventus. Obviously, it's in synthetic, but it's got that same vibe. And for the money, it's, it's not bad at all. The issue is it, it doesn't last more than 30 minutes. So those of you who are really concerned about performance, this is going to be trash. Obviously, it smells more than synthetic. This, I do prefer... The scent profile to Insurrection Pure 2, um, which is more expensive. Now, the last one on this list is Are You Serious <laughs> by Rue Broca. So, one reason I got this, the bottle's super tacky. 
when originally I got this, I think it was about 30 bucks for a 3.4 ounce. Um, oh wow, the atomizer broke off inside. So that'll be interesting. <laughs> Look at this. Um, when I originally got this, I wasn't um, too impressed. I sprayed it, I was like, eh, that's all right. You know, I didn't really see the, the height. I will say now, I tried this recently, and this is, this is up there. It very well might be my favorite alternative of these. And I'll tell you why here in a minute. Atomizer's nice when it doesn't get stuck in the uh, cap. The pineapple in here is very, very juicy and it smells like pineapple. It doesn't smell like lemon, it doesn't smell like bergamot. It comes off like pineapple. Performance is good too. I get about six, seven hours out of this. And for 30 bucks, it's not bad. It's closer to Aventus, the juicier batches of Aventus 13ZZ01 than Mont Blanc is. It's closer than a lot of the alternatives. It doesn't have that harsh lemon opening. Performance isn't trash like a lot of these are. And it's not overly woody. It's a nice, balanced, bright batch of Aventus. I think personally, if I were to rank these of the ones that I think are, you know, actually Aventus clones, or at least they're trying to cl clone Aventus. So this is how I would do it. Official club intense is at the bottom. Okay. Then I would do Victor number nine. Then I would do this just because I don't care for the, the charcoal smell. Um, I'm not going to really rank these alternatives because they're their own thing. Then it would be Insurrection Pure 2. Then, um, again, this is kind of an alternative. Then it would be probably this, this, then EDP, Club de New Intense EDP, Supremacy Silver, and then Are You Serious? Not including Mont Blanc. If I was including Mont Blanc, they would be up here with this. I might put Are You Serious before Explore, something like that. Now, the alternatives, Supremacy Silver Not Only Intense is absolutely my favorite of those, followed by probably Wonder and then Infini. So that would be kind of the layout. Um, mainly because this is just a cheap knockoff of Club Duty Intense Man. It does what it does, but worse. This has a nice synthetic pineapple smell, but it doesn't last more than 30 minutes. This has that horrible charcoal, in my opinion. I like smoky batch of Aventus, but not the charcoaly kind. And this has that charcoal, that burning charcoal smell. It doesn't last more than a couple hours. This smells extremely synthetic. Same thing, you get two to three hours performance. This has a horrible lemon opening, but afterwards gets really pretty good. It's now, it's not an exact Aventus clone. It's, you know, it, it, it tries to, but it, whatever, but it's in the same realm. It smells good. This definitely smells better, but again, I think it, it's more woody. I don't get a lot of the pineapple and it still has that kind of lemon opening. This gets rid of that harshness that this had, but has all the, the nice, beautiful dry down that Club Juno Intense has. This is best, better all around. It is more birchy though than it is juicy pineapple and performance is still pretty good. This, I think the pineapple smells even better. The opening on this smells even better. The pineapple bergamot really comes off nice, but it is more leathery. This isn't as leathery, but it has that beautiful pineapple opening. It still lasts. So this to me is just the best all around, I would say, if you're trying to get an actual Aventus clone. Okay. Now, certainly there's other alternatives. Again, the other clone houses that you could get that aren't these kind of mass marketed ones. But this is just my rundown on these. When you're considering price, performance, um, your long, you know, longevity, uh, projection as well in that performance category, and then closeness. I'd say these aren't even worth getting. These just don't even consider, unless you're just wanting like a gym fragrance. But these over here, don't even consider. These are in the consider category. But of these, I think everything over here from this to the left is better. This isn't even worth getting because the EDP is absolutely better, okay? This, yeah, I know some people like it. I don't think it's worth getting. I would be when these four right here, I think, are worth picking up depending on what you're looking for, okay? If you're looking for, you know, that, that really quality, less syntheticness, I think these two are the better all-around go-tos. Uh, if you're looking for one that's closer to the actual Aventus, I would get this because it's not as leather dominant. This is a really good fragrance, though, for the money. It really is. Um, so... That's my order, that's my ranking, and that's my rationale. Now, I will do a, the top four of these. I will compare to the clone houses at some point. Again, the, the non-traditional clone houses. Um, you know, and then and, and kind of do that. 
The reason I stepped away from that, and I've had a lot of people ask me about clone reviews, and the reason I haven't done that as much is because a lot of, at least the Aventus clones, now smell the same. Um, so I, I don't see the point in really doing a Clone Wars if I'm comparing stuff that literally smells the same, other than the price point. So that's kind of why I backed away from that, but if people are interested, I'll certainly entertain it. Um, but that's my ranking. Hopefully this was helpful. I, I know there's a ton of events inspired by and clones out there, and hopefully this helps you narrow it down. If you have any other questions, put them in the comments section. I'll get to it. I'm also going to do a similar review with the YSLY clones, um, you know, and with, with compared to the EDP as well as the EDT. So hopefully this is helpful.